Uh, Joe is referring to the troll Q&A where I decided to address the trolls. That was a young lady who made that statement and it was something like, you're old, you're ugly, and nobody cares about what you say. And the point I was trying to make with that is, number one, the big question is, why why would anyone say that to anyone else? You know, I mean, where's the guilt? Where's the remorse? Where's the step back and say, you know what? That was the wrong thing to do. Why are they not saying that that is the wrong thing to say to someone? And what does this person do in her spare time? Does she torture puppies? And what happened to this person to make them so heartless and so cruel? And even more important than that is what if I was so fragile, or if I was like really young, some teenager or something, and I got my self worth out of what other people think about me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what would happen to me? That, that could devastate me as a human being. I mean, that could really, really cause havoc on someone's mental capacity. So, where's, where's the, where's the consciousness? Where's, why isn't this young lady stepping back and saying, you know what, that might be true, but there's there's really no valid reason to say that to someone, especially on a public forum. I mean, it's just, what is, what is the point? So everybody's 100% responsible for their own individual actions. Um, but I do blame some of this, a piece of this, some kind of percentage of this on the famous vloggers who tend to never say anything or respond to any of their comments or questions or any of it. So picture this 15-year-old kid being really inspired by some famous vloggers' work and continually commenting on, on their videos and never getting a reply. And, and the comments are very, you know, flattering and, and nice and so this kid is trying to be nice and trying to tell the vlogger hey I exist and I love your work and the vlogger just never says anything well if this kid or even this adult that's somewhat undeveloped in, in the mind it sends a message to him saying you know what this, this asshole doesn't give a shit about me and they're not responding and so I'm going to get that person's attention, and if I can't do it by being nice, I'm going to be a total fucking asshole, and at least he'll know, or she'll know, that I exist and they're not going to ignore me. So this is where a lot of trolls are born. They can't get attention by being nice, so they get attention by being an asshole. So the vlogger is going to say to you, well, I can't respond to 10,000 comments a day, and it's true, there, there's, they would take, you know, all their time, and they won't be creating anything, because they'd be spending all their time commenting or replying to these comments, and then when you reply to these comments, they, they evolve into longer conversations, you know what I mean? I don't buy that excuse, because... These vloggers, a lot of them are making a lot of money and they could hire somebody to do their PR work and at least acknowledge their own viewers. Yeah, I think they really dropped the ball on this. It, it, it wouldn't be hiring somebody to pretend that they're the vlogger, but to just acknowledge the person comment and then say thank you. And, you know, thanks for your comment and, and I'll, I'll get this. I'll get this issue to, you know, your favorite vlogger. We really appreciate your time. Just something. Just acknowledge them. Because when you ignore them, it gets people desperate. And they want you to know who they are. And that's normal. Yeah. So, you know. I think, the, I think these famous vloggers, it, it comes across as arrogant when they don't have the time. To, uh, to at least acknowledge the people who have made them wealthy.
yeah, I could have made that issue more clear. I'm not ending making videos. I'm ending the daily videos because I think I can produce a much higher quality video of substance and meaning by going weekly and doing a weekly vlog. vlog. And in the meantime, I'm working on some specialty videos that are in more high demand than well, there's John and the not enough meaning and I want to create something with meaning and purpose that's going to make a difference in people's lives and I can't do that on a daily vlog day in and day out it's just impossible there's not enough life changing issues in my own life and it's not saying I'm boring it's not that way for anybody I want to create certain works of art not, not something that's disposable and irrelevant I will always be making videos this is what I do they just won't be bad I'm going weekly focus on, on you know create that super mega big video that actually has the potential to change things make things better it turns into a train wreck you have something to do during the day that can't wait and support has something to do with business and you gotta work late or something like that all of a sudden you're up all night working on tomorrow's vlog you can either rush in and produce garbage or you can just go to sleep and try to finish it by the end of the day so that's usually what happens is you try to finish it by the end of the day when it should have been out by 8 o'clock this morning so now that this one is way late, you haven't even started working on tomorrow's vlog, and all of a sudden it's, you know, it's midnight, and you have two vlogs to, and you're barely getting one out, and you finally get that one out, and then you sleep late the next day because you didn't get it finished until 3 o'clock in the morning, and you wake up at 1, you're late for work, and you still haven't published today's vlog, you haven't even started on it. And it just gets worse and worse and worse as time goes on. And this is the dilemma with committing yourself to a daily vlog. You're not always going to be able to get it out at the time you tell the people you're going to get it out. And now you're disappointing in them. And they, you're not giving them what they expect. And you're going elsewhere. You're losing viewers. You're losing subs. And it just gets uglier and uglier and uglier. So it gets to the point where it's, it's Sunday and you're posting... Friday's vlog. And now you have another one due on Monday morning and you haven't even started taking the footage for that one. And it just, it gets to the point where you're getting no break at all and you're burning out and you start resenting it. I found myself getting to that point. So then it got down to, can we train somebody and pay them to do the editing so I can focus on all the camera work and video footage and pictures and stuff like that and just tell them. You know, just tell the editor what I'm trying to convey and see what they come up with. And this would free me up. It wouldn't interfere with business. And it is possible to create a quality vlog five days a week. But then a, a, a friend of mine, Howie, brought up the issue. I'm the kind of guy that has to do it my way. I have to have complete control of my the creative process that story that I'm trying to tell and it most likely is just not going to work. The editor would have to be someone that's almost inhuman. I'm going to have trouble finding that person. So that kind of got checked off the option list. So I'm back to the same problem and it's like okay well that's not going to work and Howie's probably right so what, what do I do? And this is what I'm doing. I'm going weekly while creating super high quality videos, not vlogs, about very important issues. It might be narcissistic within itself, but I still believe that I can create something that's going to have a profound impact on the viewers and therefore change the world and make it a better place. Now, whether that's crazy or stupid, selfish. It's what I believe. And this is in the age of zero net neutrality and corporate America monopolizing all the information on the internet. 
in the name of their own selfishness and their own greed, I have to believe that there's a way to break through that wall and to be heard and to make a difference. And whatever you want to call that, that's what I believe. So perhaps the Daily Vlog succeeded in letting you know exactly who I am and where I'm coming from. And now we can proceed to changing the world. But I want to leave the world a better place than I found it. And I have to believe that I can still do that, that I have something to say and I can make a difference. That's what it's about. If I don't believe that, what's the sense? I mean, I might as well just cop to corporate America and just rip off stupid consumers and sit on the beach for the rest of my life having bad conversations with control freaks. It's not what I want to do. So if those 100 daily vlogs succeeded in building your trust and earning your trust, and now that you know everything there is to know about me, pretty much, it's not just me getting on with it. Let's get on with it. And hopefully you understand what I'm saying now. So hopefully together we can go to a higher place. shooting for July 4th 2018 it's a couple of weeks and it makes sense to release it on Independence Day because we're celebrating the greatness of some independent artists so we kind of got lucky with that timing but um, yeah July 4th fireworks but don't freeze it, okay? Just stick it in the freezer for like two hours and just get it ice cold. If you buy this super sweet shit that's made in the factory, you're not gonna have to put any sugar or any sweetener in it. A little bit of lemon might give it an extra kick, but um, I'm not big on lemons. So. 